I'll walk through the darkest valley I was lost, I couldn't find my way But then I heard him from within He who died for my sins He spoke my name, then I saw his face Yes, I've seen His eternal glory I felt His hand when I was astray I never knew until then What His love truly meant I was lost but now I'm found by His grace So I was doing a lot today and I figured, well, the day that I made this video, but I figured I would go ahead and just pick up the camera and get some footage and share it with you guys. Maybe it can inspire you to get some stuff done around your house or maybe you just want to hang out for a bit. But this is just me doing a hodgepodge of things this day and I figured, you know what, we might as well record it. So we did. So we're going to head, we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things done and then I will pick you up and we'll do well, some more stuff together. I'm so thankful that you're here. I thank you for being part of our community. If you're not part of our community, make sure you subscribe down below. We would love to have you here. I do a little bit of everything on my channel. Um, but yeah, we're just getting some stuff done and I figured we'd bring you along for the ride. So let's go. <laughs> I feel better every day The troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I'll sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my dreams Like a pillow
so we got our cleaning done and everything that I wanted to get done mostly I think I still got to give Nolan a haircut um, but I've got mostly everything done that I had planned for the day now I'm going to make the banana -less pudding it's well you will see in a minute um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make that Lily has been wanting it which obviously I mean that's what I bought the stuff for is because Lily wanted it but I hadn't made it yet and she was talking about it yesterday that I hadn't made her pudding yet um, and that was because of the donuts the fundraiser that we done with my for my neighbor's granddaughter or whatever I bought some donuts and I didn't want them to get wasted I know if I made other things that there was a bigger chance of the donuts getting wasted I was doing that I found these little dudes I bought these so I could share stuff but I'm gonna share with my kids does that count um, and I saw these and I thought that would make super cute little pudding cups so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use these to make some little pudding cups and I totally lost my train of thought we're gonna make the the pudding cups for the kiddos and then I'm also gonna make some Uncrustables I have not done that in forever and I watched a grocery haul this morning I don't even remember who it was because I just played videos as I was cleaning and so I wasn't really watching but I was listening and watched a whole bunch of them anyways somebody bought Uncrustables and I was thinking Uncrustables are next level they're much better than just a normal peanut butter and jelly and I was really like last year I went through a phase of where I was buying them quite often and then I bought the little doodad so where you can make them at home I've not done that in forever I think the key to good like Uncrustables is that they're kind of frozen um, so we're gonna make some of those and get them in the freezer so those are prepped so we're gonna do the pudding cups and some Uncrustables I figured we would share that with you I got a package in the mail I'm gonna share what that was just because they're super cute and I just got them and I'm recording today. If I get a package on a day I'm recording, I will typically, if it's something worth sharing or I can share it, I'll share it with you. So we're gonna do that. And the package that came was kind of inspiring me to make pancakes. However, it came late and I just don't know about pancakes at two o'clock in the evening. So, um, well, we might do, no, we don't got no meat to go with it. I was gonna say we could do pan, we could do breakfast for dinner, but we don't have any meat to go along with it. Um, anyways, I'm still going to show them even if I don't use them. But we're going to go ahead and attempt to get this pudding done. Got to make sure we got enough milk. Hopefully we got enough milk for that. And then we're going to move on and get the sandwiches done. And then we'll be done for the day. Minus Nolan's haircut. I definitely got to give him a haircut today. So we're going to go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so I did not have enough milk to do the pudding recipe. However... We're going to attempt to use whatever milk we got plus dry milk. Will it work? Don't ask me. Well, you can ask me in like an hour, I guess, maybe two. But we're going to try and use that. I made up a cup of it. Got it over there sitting um, in some ice to get it nice and cold. I'm going to do about half a block of this. We're going to just off the top of my head because I'm not making a full recipe, so I'm not even going to bother getting it out. Um, I mean, looking it up. I'm going to do similar to the Not Your Mama's banana pudding that Paula Dean does, because that's the recipe that I make that the girls really like. I mean, it's got the whatever cookies in it, not banana. Goodness gracious. It's got whatever those cookies are. I cannot remember what they're called. Um, Chessman? They're called Chessman cookies. But, however, personally, I think vanilla wafers taste better definitely do so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do just like a thrown together whatever my head says version of that I'm gonna get the sweetened condensed milk use about mm, maybe a half a third of a block of cream cheese because I am only doing a small um, recipe for this because I'm just gonna do it in the little cups and less likely to get wasted that way if it's just little portions of it so that's what we're gonna do I wasn't thinking about it so I hadn't um, brought this to room temperature yet. I hadn't softened it. So we're just going to nuke this in the microwave for a few seconds and then the milk should be nice and cold by then and fingers crossed that it works. Okay so really quick we're just going to mix up this cream cheese just a little bit just to make sure it's nice and smooth before we add the pudding mixture. Oh yeah that's going to be great. Maybe two tablespoons 
of this sweetened condensed milk. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, but good enough. In this stained bowl, we're gonna add our banana cream pudding. This is the only banana part of this recipe for us. What? Yeah, hold on just a second, okay? Well, a few minutes anyway. Cups of milk. Okay, so the verdict is it's set up just fine. So Thankfully, now we're going to move the camera. I'm going to put the pudding mixture into the cream cheese mixture here. And get this mixed together. gonna fold this in. Well, the cookies in a bowl so that I'm not having to like dig it in the bag just in case I get messy hands. I'm going to use the cookie sheet to make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna hold them while they're sitting up and whatnot. I'm not sure how many it's gonna make. Might make more than we've got cups for. I don't want to make a ton of them. Um, I don't want to waste it either, so we'll see here. I'm hoping that this is a good number. I'm hoping that that's what it makes. So, got them laid out here. We're just making stuff up as we go, but I'm going to put a cookie in the bottom of each of them. I'm going to put two scoops in each of them here. Stick another cookie on top. Then I'm gonna just take a little bit of broken and put around the edges. more cookies. I don't know how the lids will fit on these. Okay, moment of truth. Is that only one lid? It's really thick if so. No. That was like three lids. Either way. Let's okay. see. I think this one ain't gonna have a problem. Okay, it had a little bit of a problem. So. I 
these that seem a little bit top heavy or even more concerning. What do you say? Gonna be busting out the top a little bit. It's fine because it has to be. So here's the verdict. Um, I overfilled 90% of them, maybe 95%. But it is fine, you know, if I do decide to ever make anything like this and, like, share it or whatever, I will know to add less. Maybe. I'll probably forget. But I'm going to go ahead and get these in the refrigerator. They're super cute, though. I mean, look at that. How cute is that? These would be good for, like, if he's going to go camping or something and you wanted to be able to take things like this and be a little less messy. Because, you know, if you made this in a big container, it's going to be messy. This would be a good idea for maybe some camping treats. Even if it wasn't this, like iced brownies or something, or like little flat cakes, because obviously it can't be a big cake, it would be so cute. So, I got these little containers off of Timu, but I'm going to get these in the refrigerator, and then we're going to move on to the sandwiches. So, got the mess cleaned up, got the rest of the sweet and condensed milk going into a jar. I'll use that for coffee, but we're going to see how much bread we have here. I've got this, plus I've got some of the butternut bread, um... That I got from Kroger Steel. What's going on here, ma'am? Will you fit? Maybe. Um, can you see how much I've got? Not you. Thank you, though. Will you fit? It's going to be kind of tricky. Maybe. I'm lucky. We'll see if we have to use it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the bread out. And the two jellies that we had open. Well, we, have, we had boysenberry, too, but... Um, there's not much of it left, so I just left it for sandwiches. So this is red raspberry, and then this is some grape that I made last year. So we're going to just make half of each of those. I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet here on parchment paper, I'll let them freeze, and then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag and go from there. I might obviously do two Ziploc bags to show what flavors they are. Hello, darling. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You don't, there's no wait time. That's what you're saying? Yeah. No. I mean, it probably won't be, like, as cold as it would be if you waited, but... And the scraps aren't getting wasted. I would usually eat them, but I didn't want them, so we just treated the dogs with them. Come here, Will. See it. And the only reason why, like, good job. I'm gonna go out and water the garden. I don't water it every day, like when it gets super hot. Um, once it gets like really hot, I will. But I just keep a check on the soil, you know, kind of away from any of the plants, kind of dig down with my hands and see if it's moist and if it is then I just leave it um but I've not watered it in a few days and it's they're not giving rain for us for a few days I think mid next week is when the even a slight chance of rain for us 
even though it looks kind of rainy today and it has um but i'm gonna go up and water the garden and then seems like there was something else oh i'm gonna take my cushions back and put them on my swing i took them off because it's supposed to rain um like two or three weeks ago and never <laughs> i never think to put them back on and the kids obviously like it better when it's got the seat cover on it because you know it's softer and um you know fluffy or whatever so i just never think about it and this morning when i was cleaning in there i seen it in there so i put it out here on the porch and it actually worked because i looked i came out here and i seen it and well i'm gonna take that and put it up there still need to give nolan a haircut but he keeps he's been riding his bike a lot him and wendy um either his normal bike or his electric bike which i think he's pretty much only rode his electric bike today but anyways i don't want to take him from doing that to cut his hair that's one reason his room is a mess and his hair's not been cut yet but um we might try to get fit that in later today but i mean it's already getting pretty late i think i don't even know what time it is to be honest but we're gonna get up here and get this done and then and then we'll be done for the day i guess i don't know <laughs> We just wanted to go out and get something to eat. It's Friday, so it's not like he just comes home and asks that every time, um, every day, which every so often he will come home during the week and ask that. Anyways, I was fine with staying home. I'd actually just decided to make some pancakes and omelet. However, the kids, Wendy and Nolan, was out there and they wanted to go out, so that means we're going out. We didn't have to have Lily's vote because they already wanted to so we're gonna go out and get something to eat he had a couple of things he needed from the store anyways i don't know what today's date is but we're gonna get these uncrustables i just froze them on parchment paper which i don't know why because it's not like the bread froze but maybe i thought the jelly might run out anyways we're gonna get these in here and i don't know what is what but i'm just gonna put them together because i hated to waste two bags so we're just gonna put them in here and put them back into the freezer. And then we're gonna head out, I guess I still gotta put my shoes on, but we're gonna head out, do the couple of errands that John needed to do, and then grab some dinner. One less thing I gotta do, and that'll be our day. So I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us and enjoyed whatever it is that I done with you today. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time, bye friends. Mm -hmm.